in a single second. Manhattan is gone. This isn't science fiction. This is the B-6113 a nuclear bomb so powerful it could wipe out 40 square miles, yet smart enough to hit a single bunker with pinpoint accuracy. And as of April 2025, it's in production. But why now? And what does it really mean for global security? The B-6113 is a modernized gravity bomb that blends raw power with cutting-edge precision. As a gravitational or freefall bomb, it's deployed from high-altitude stealth aircraft like the B-2 or B-21, then guided by a precision tail kit to its target. Its yield is fully adjustable, ranging from 10 to 360 kilotons, allowing for both tactical and strategic missions. This means one single B-6113 bomb can be set before a mission to act as either a tactical nuke or a strategic nuke, just by adjusting the yield. This makes it incredibly versatile and valuable in modern nuclear strategy. At maximum power, it's over 20 times stronger than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Designed to penetrate enemy defenses and destroy hardened underground targets, the B-6113 is a flexible, stealth-delivered weapon built for modern warfare. At low yield, it can be used for battlefield targets with minimal collateral damage. At high yield, it becomes a powerful strategic weapon capable of destroying critical infrastructure or enemy cities. What truly sets it apart is its ability to strike hardened targets in deeply buried bunkers, thanks to its high explosive power and precision guidance. Delivered by stealth aircraft, this gravity bomb is designed to penetrate defenses and eliminate even the most fortified threats, making it one of the most flexible and formidable nuclear weapons in the U.S. arsenal. The world is rearming. Russia's RS-28 Satan II can unleash up to 50 megatons, 140 times the B-6113. China? On track to double its arsenal by 2030. In this new arms race, the U.S. says the B-6113 is a modern deterrent. But some say it's a dangerous gamble. More precision might make it more usable. That's the fear. A lower bar for nuclear conflict, where a warhead becomes a battlefield tool instead of a last resort. Let's put it in perspective. Hiroshima, 15 kilotons. It wiped out 5 square miles. 140,000 lives, gone. Now fast forward to today. The B-6113, its max yield 360 kilotons. That's 24 times more powerful. Drop it on Manhattan? The fireball incinerates the financial district. Midtown becomes rubble. Fires rage all the way to Brooklyn. Fallout? It spreads for miles. Casualties could top 300,000. Over a million more injured. And remember, this is just one bomb. Unlike Hiroshima's airburst, the B-6113 can strike the ground, kicking radioactive dust across entire regions. Depending on the wind, fallout could poison cities 50 miles away. This isn't just power, it's devastation on demand. So, is this bomb a necessary update or a dangerous step toward Armageddon? The Pentagon says it's about retiring older, bigger bombs like the 1.2 megaton B-83-1. More control, fewer casualties. But critics argue, the more precise the bomb, the more tempting it becomes to use. We've seen what nukes do. We've promised never again. Yet here we are, smarter bombs, shorter fuses, and a world walking a tightrope. The B-6113 is real. It's powerful. And it's here. Now you know what it can do. But the real question is, should it exist at all? Let's talk about it. If you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe the channel. Share this video with someone who needs to understand what's at stake. Stay curious, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next one.